Okay, next up, let's remove the keyboard. Careful of those. Remove the keyboard and the data set so that we can give the keys a bit of a wash. Ugh. Okay, just the screws, keyboard is done. Well, pulled out at least. Now I've just got to use the keyboard to gently pull all the screws off. Um, and then, yeah, it's just clips, just clips on the bottom to get the metal tray off. And then very carefully, um, you can take the, the keyboard membrane out. That's that. Now for the data set. Um, what have I done? I think I normally take the on off switch and the volume out, give the volume uh, potentiometer a bit of a clean with the contact cleaner because you can get sometimes get scratchy sound. Um, so yeah, well, let's let's do the data set separately. Let's get this keyboard cleaning. Okay, I think I've got it. So what I'm going to do, I think I've got most of the glue off, is just lever it up here and use these to just very gently pull the clip back and off it pops. And now it's just this other, other clip there, which has got a bit, bit of glue on it still, by the looks. And there we go. Done. Okay, I'll clean that up later. So now the data set is free. Also the top case. So I can give this a bit of a wash. I'll disconnect that. I think you can actually take the plastic off as well. Um, but yeah, so it's just... It's just this spring here that's keeping it under tension, so undo that and then gently with the plastic pull the plastic out of the hole. Pull the plastic out of both holes actually, do it at the same time. There we go. And that's free. And I think, yeah, there's just some little clips in here so you can get the get the clear perspex out, I think. You just pull it a little bit. Just pull it all, oh, which ones? Maybe from up the top, have a better luck. Just gently, probably should be using something a bit thinner. Uh, no, that's Philip said. A knife will do. Mm, just gently, 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 gently. There. Once one's out, gently, gently, gently. Easy peasy, eh? Should I, should I, oh, I should pull that bit like that. Not too much, so oh, I don't know. Like a bit of a stress mark showing up there, so I'll stop doing that end. There we go, gently, gently. Just need to pop over, come on. This end just doesn't want to come out. Yeah, I think I'm going to get a knife. Okay. Uh, 
don't know if I knew what I wanted to do, whether I'm pushing, pulling or what. There we go. Okay, so I'll give that a good clean as well. I'll leave that screw in there. So, yeah, give this a good, good scrub as well. Okay. Ugh. So there's the membrane. Ugh. Dust bunnies on it. There's the underside of the keyboard. So, yep. Well worth a clean. Okay, got all most of them out, just with the shift, enter and space bar, you need to get rid of the uh, stabilizer bar, well not get rid of, but you need to get the stabilizer bar out first without breaking anything. Just like that. There we go. Without pushing it back in at the bottom again. There, done. That one is it the same size? <laughs> Looks like the enter and shift stabilizer bars are all the same. So we should have three of the same, so that should make it easy. Put it back in. That's the second shift. Probably easier with a small screwdriver. Is that one done? I just got the space bar to do. Of course. There we go. Looks like all the springs are the same as well. All the same size springs. Not sure about the space bar. Let's do that now. Ugh. Look forward to giving that a good wash. Okay. Okay, double springs. They appear to be the same as all the other springs. Well, pretty, pretty much identical to me. So there we go. It's ready for its bath. There we go. I like to use a bit of bit of cream cleanser to uh, really get a, give it a good scrub. Um, get in there with a toothbrush or some other brush and um, you yeah, obviously just got to be careful you don't bend it too much. Get in all the nooks and crannies and Good blast. So much more satisfying. Okay, looks like I've got all the gunk off. Um, now just to do all the keycaps. So I have to give them all individual scrub to get the, the grime off. Um, so I'm gonna go do that next. Okay, let's see if we can make this shift key look a bit better. A bit of cream cleanser, oh, sorry. A good rub. Well, it's good because sometimes, like, if, obviously, if it's sun damaged, then cream cleanse is not going to really make much difference. But um, when it's grime. It's a big difference. So, I'm 
Here's a good example. Caps lock versus the shift now. So, a bit laborious, but um, well worth the effort, I think. So I'm going to go through all those now. Okay, keyboard. All nice and clean. Ready to go back in to the case with the data set. Now, before I can put the keyboard back in, I need to remount the uh, power LED. And you can see I've gone down as far as I can, but it's still just too high. And that's because it's coming, sitting on the, um, on the limiting resistor there. So I'm going to get rid of that resistor and mount it underneath it. And then I'll be able to drop the LED down a little bit more and it should just fit in. Okay, and here is the end result. So pretty much yeah, all the way down. Um, and I've changed, it's a 100 ohm resistor. I don't know what the other one was, maybe 300 or something. I don't know. Anyway, so that should now fit. And it's in. Okay, top of keyboard.